Bacteria Medica with these, um, with some of the herbs that I mentioned today. Um, so I'm going to start with chamomile. Um, we already talked about it externally, but um, yeah, the Latin again is Metrucaria recutita. And um, internally, um, for emotional first aid, it's especially for people whose nervous tension in their brains is very connected with the functioning of their digestive system. It's kind of like a bridge between um, the nervous and the digestive systems. Uh, so people who have anxiety-induced belly aches, um, I definitely reach for chamomile. Uh, it supports both of those systems simultaneously. It's very calming. Chamomile can help with panic attacks, both prevention and during. And uh, according to one of my teachers uh, at the Blue Otter School, Karen Sanders says that it's one of the best anxiety remedies there is. She said that about chamomile. Um, so I think it's, it's underestimated because it's so commonplace and so many of us know about it already and it's maybe even already in our kitchens even if we're not herbalists. Um, just pretty amazing to be like one of the best anxiety remedies there is. I, I love it a lot and also for whatever reason I'm not like a chamomile person. I, I think other since there's so many plant people you'll know like sometimes you just like have chemistry with certain plants like for me in skullcap I'm like when can I talk about skullcap again. Um, and I know a lot of people who have that kind of connection with chamomile. So forgive me if this isn't like as romantic um, from me as it feels for you. <laughs> Your understanding is that chamomile can be really good for kids and nervous tummy aches. And it's generally safe except for allergies. Yeah, thank you for saying that. Definitely. Um, so yes, absolutely. It is a bitter. So you want to take it with food or it will stimulate your appetite. Something to keep in mind. It does help with anxiety-induced indigestion, particularly tension and gas. Um, it's safe for children and people who are pregnant. Um, and you don't, there are some situations you don't want to use chamomile though. It's not for use internally with stomach excess, such as like acid reflux. Um, it can be too hot and stimulating, especially in larger doses. Um, so something to keep in mind, especially because it's like, oh, you think chamomile digestion, but like just to add that piece of uh, nuance of being like, except for reflux, like not all digestive scenarios. Um, and yeah, there can, and some people can have allergies to it as well. Um, I've also heard chamomile indicated in general for like big baby syndrome. So like for babies of all ages. Um, and I think like emotional first aid situations like being in crisis can often involve some level of like regressing into a younger state um, because it's really scary and like really primal and core to be in a mental health crisis. So um, yeah, big babies of all ages might do well with some chamomile. Thanks for watching. I'm Bruna Morshaw of Well Deep Remedies. Leave a comment below about what you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the caption for a link to sign up for my mailing list for more free educational content from me, a disabled femme clinical herbalist. The herbal first aid class handouts that accompany these videos are also linked in the caption and available for purchase. Visit welldeepremedies.com for more. Thank you and ta-ta for now. Bye.